<laughs> so bad. The paintball dressing appropriately is key. When you're running around, you're getting all sweaty, you're getting shot with paintballs, you're crawling on the ground, you're just gonna get dirty. So if it's your first time playing paintball, follow this advice and you will have fun. Renting equipment is the way most people experience paintball for the first time. And you're pretty much gonna get everything you need. You're gonna get paintball gun, hopper, a tank, and that mask. Most paintball fields offer some coverall clothing you could wear over your normal clothes, but we could do better than that. It's best to choose some clothes that are old or something that you're not afraid to get dirty or possibly ruin. You know, maybe you got something at the back of the closet that you're never gonna wear. Maybe some old pants, an old sweatshirt. Both of those are excellent options. You know, clothes that you aren't afraid to ruin or get dirty. And since you'll be running and moving around a lot, being in shorts might be a little bit tempting because you're maybe a little bit more mobile, but certainly getting shot up the shorts is not that fun. And you're gonna get your legs all scratched up trying to crawl around or move around the ground. It's so bad, dude. <laughs> you're struggling, dude. Jeez. Okay, I don't know, dude. <laughs> Fuck. Because normally I like, you know, keep army crawl with my legs like this. And I can't really do that with these on. It just hurts. The ground feels like sandpaper. <sighs> All right. <laughs> you know, looking for old clothes, I always like to hit up the thrift stores. They're really fantastic places. You can find little hidden treasures. I found this black jacket for only $12. It's really nice. I uh, kind of thought about not playing paintball in it and just keeping it, but something like this, this heavy jacket is fantastic at the paintball field. Those thicker, heavier clothes like that jacket can just kind of help absorb the impact of the paintball so it hurts a little bit less. You know, however, there is kind of a balance. You, know, you don't want to go crazy, you know, going with an excessive amount of clothing. You shouldn't go out there like this. Well, I mean, I guess you can, but you're just going to look insane. And you're going to have a hell of a time moving around. It just doesn't hurt that bad. You really don't need all those layers. If you're playing in the woods, maybe getting rid of that black jacket and throwing on some camouflage would be a good idea. Why you ask? Well, it's, you know, it's camouflage. It kind of works like a cloak of invincibility, except it doesn't work anything like that. It's camo. It's not, you don't like disappear. And when you're looking around for camouflage, there's gonna be a lot, a lot of different options out there, right? I mean, you have stuff that's tailored to paintball and airsoft, there's stuff for hunting, there's stuff made for the military, but the main thing you wanna look for is that it's fit for your environment. In my area, I've really found that this OCP or like multi-cam design works really well. It's really dry and kind of brown out here all the time, so it just kind of fits in really well. You know, compare this multi-cam to the black playing on this mounds and it's just strikingly better. But in general, I think that OCP and multi-cam are probably the best two universal options out there right now. But really, it depends on your environment, right? If you're playing in super vegetation with very low sunlight, that OCP or that multi-cam might not work as well, whereas something like that old school woodland camo might work a little better. Nothing probably matters more than wearing the right shoes, and you really have to wear the correct shoes. It's a must. You need something that's gonna keep you mobile that is closed toed, you know, so those fancy shoes won't cut it. If you're playing at a paintball field that has setups like these hyperball tubes or other obstacles, maybe there's an RV in the center of the field, you can really get away with wearing any pair of shoes you want. I often just wear Vans, you know, because they're comfortable all day long and they allow me to transverse the terrain with ease. <laughs> On the other hand, if you're playing in a paintball field that's wooded, you know, you got terrain, maybe there's more crap to trip over, I definitely recommend something with ankle support. I mean, you can't go wrong with work boots, you got hiking boots. You know, I wear the trail shoes every once in a while. If I'm gonna go play in the woods, they're not gonna have the best ankle support, but there's certainly more traction than those vans. And I don't have any boots, you know, I have trail running shoes. I used to have these boots, but, eh, you know. Most of the more advanced players are actually wearing cleats, especially if they're tournament players playing on that artificial turf. Cleats just work really well. I really like soccer cleats because they provide still a lot of ankle mobility, but that cleat allows me to you know, grip the turf really well. You could also wear like soccer cleats. I said soccer cleats. You could also wear football cleats that are gonna grip really well, you know, and just have way more ankle support than a soccer cleat. 
But that's if you want ankle support. I don't, I don't want ankle support. Wearing a beanie or a baseball cap is also a really good idea. You know, getting shot in the head is one of the more painful spots to get hit. So just having something on your head is gonna really kind of make a big difference. You don't gotta go full blown crazy and tape a pillow to your head, but just having something on there to absorb and you know lessen the impact is gonna help. There are some paintball specific things you could get to kind of lessen impact or protect your head a little more. Raza are making their bounce cap, which is really just kind of a padded beanie cap kind of thing. And then Exalt are making their bounce cap, which is, you know, a padded hat. And even though they're making these things and, you know, getting shot in the head hurts, there's no way the paintball has enough energy or, yep, yeah, energy to actually cause damage. So you're not going to get like concussions or nothing crazy is going to happen. You're just going to have a little lump and it just hurts a little bit. Along with those bounce caps, there's also some other stuff you could get if you want a little bit more protection than just what those heavy clothes are gonna buy. You could get a chest protector, there's neck protectors, and then there's also specific paintball gloves. The chest protector is essentially just a padded top. The cheaper options are only around $25, and they're just really a foam kind of chest end back protection. While those higher end versions kind of resemble a shirt a little bit more, you can like move around in them a little bit more. They articulate a little bit better. They're around $60 and definitely more comfortable and do provide a little bit more protection. They're just really hot. I mean, the, the chest protector ones aren't, but the shirt style, God, they're like, they're real hot. And then there's neck guards and neck guards normally just consist of neoprene and maybe a little bit of padding with a Velcro attachment in the back. And they really just kind of serve their purpose. You know, they protect your neck. They're not too fancy. There's some higher end versions that'll come down and protect your throat maybe a little bit more, but just the basic neck protector is a neck protector. So that's what you should wear paintballing for the first time. You know, maybe find some old clothes. You got to go to the thrift store. Maybe you could find some camo there, maybe some old shoes. Stuff you can be mobile in. It's paintball. Just, just go have fun.